Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's the 24th of October, 2022. Uh, still got a lot of problems with my parents in hospital, uh, but my mates come over. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what we're doing. So there's the new bearings and the bolts. There's the drive shaft, which may need some more holes drilling in it. The plan is to get these blades on and then those on as well at the front. If that becomes too complicated, then we'll just go with those. If we do put the smaller set of blades on as well, you can see there, there's some holes for the blades to fit into, not the blades, sorry, for the blade hub to fit into, and an M6 bolt goes into there, meaning the drive shaft stays solid. Uh, what we, the critical thing is the position of the gear cog. The gear cog has to be in the perfect place here and obviously if we're messing about with how far the blades have to come off then that will need to be changed but that is the critical component is the angle of the chain uh, it can be a little bit out but we don't want it out the paint's holding up pretty good i know it's only been a few days but uh, the tower looks good i've replaced some of these so hopefully we'll get that done and then we'll get a video of it going back up and that'll be that might be it for a while because i just need to concentrate on other stuff i still would appreciate a 25 pound donation for the fiberglass i need to fix the other blades properly but yeah we'll hopefully be back in a bit okay so this is where we've got up to the new bearings are loosely fitted uh, they they will need to be centered properly to make sure the drive shaft is parallel uh, my mates put the chain on that should be in good position so what i've done here is I've removed any marks because when you tighten up the nuts you can see it leaves a mark so what we're going to try and do is get the big set of blades on here uh, with two bolts in and then we'll tighten them up we'll mark the holes and then we'll drill them as long as we've got enough space to get the other blades on the front so that'll be the next job yo well, that went pretty well what we did we put the blade hub on with the two bolts tightened the bolts up and we've drilled recesses where the marks are. We only have one hole drilled for the secondary set of blades, but that's fine. So yeah, hopefully they'll go on. So we've managed to get the two set of blades on. Some people will think that isn't a worthwhile experiment, but to me it is. So we shall see. So we've done all, we've tensioned up all the wires pretty much. Where we want, where we want to, the wind is getting up. I'm very pleased to announce. Of course, the last part is the tail. I deliberately didn't paint this end. This is where it slots in to the channel on the tower. Sorry, you might not be able to hear me. The wind is definitely getting up. Sweet! Yo, it's all ready to go. Uh, due to the time constraints of the family problems I've got, I didn't get a chance to clean these blades, so if they look a bit dirty, it doesn't really matter. The tail's all in there. There's two epic planes flying around over there. One sec, just give me the table. Wicked. see it back up. A symbol of hope for the future. I'm still in the market for some donations so if anybody has any more money than cents please send me some via PayPal. Thank you very much. It's looking good. It's looking good. Go check, I've got the brake on. Una momento.
Yeah, it's braked after the rectifier. May have inadvertently altered the gin pole angle. We will have to see. What we made sure we did was we gave ourselves a good amount of room to play with on there. One sec, mate. I'm just gonna check the back. Uh... Go a little bit more. Right, that'll do for now. Thank you. You see what's happened is the angle of the gym pole has changed because we've been messing around with the cables. Uh, so what I need to do when I get back is just, I'm gonna leave these slightly loose for now and they'll all need tightening up. Oh, we forgot to put these spirit levels on. Right, so it's ready with the brake on. I'll need to make some adjustments and then the wind is getting up, so I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned, thank you for watching, big love. Oh, sorry, just a quickie. The one uh, downer of that whole thing was the fact that, sorry, I'll get out of the wind. The one downer about that whole thing is that I forgot to put my spirit levels on, so I'll have to eyeball it. Uh, that's it now, going around with a brake on. Looks very strange. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video, peace. Oh, the sun's actually half come out for a minute, so yeah, it's got the brake on, and I shall be letting it rip in the next couple of days and we'll see what happens. Bye for now.